Hi, Madhura. Hi, good evening. Thank you, Ruchira, for inviting me here. And thank you, Dr. Nandita. Thank you. Please do share your story. It's uh, how remarkable is that? <laughs> Okay, so uh, like I'm a whole food plant-based nutritionist with the Sharon team for the last six years now. And uh, I'm really fortunate enough to be in this group because I, I so have benefited with this lifestyle. And uh, it started about tw- uh, 14 years back, uh, like one day at the age of 25, just woke up in the morning and I was paralyzed on my left side. And it was an overnight issue. Like it, it, there was, you know, there was no symptoms or there was like nothing happening before that that indicated that something like this is going to happen and I was rushed to the ER my mom is a doctor she's an MD and she rushed me to the hospital where my blood pressure was 220 by 180 the normal is 120 by 80 Mm. and uh, they thought that you know it's just one episode where only my face is affected on the left side so they got me admitted they immediately started me on steroids and you know, all the possible medication, antihypertensives and everything. And within a span of 12 days, my entire left side was uh, completely paralyzed. I was immobile, couldn't do my basic things also. And uh, during the whole span of the day, I was taking about nine pills, you know, thrice a day. It was kind of hectic, loads of CT scans, MRIs. And they really couldn't really figure out what happened because at the age of 25, nothing really happens to you, right? I was obese. Uh, you know, like I, I'm a goan. So can you imagine uh, food is completely full of fish and being a Bengali, you can understand like <laughs> always eating chicken, always eating eggs, you know, my, and my mother being a doctor, you know, an egg a day was like an apple a day. It was like an egg a day was always necessary for the protein and everything. So very bad eating habits and living alone in Mumbai. So, you know, always eating vada pavs and everything. So pretty bad lifestyle being a nutritionist also couldn't really afford my own consultation that time and yes I was very sick and uh, finally you know seeing the social scenario in India I moved to the US uh, and there I got like a lot of support from and US is a kind of handicap friendly country so you know a lot of free physiotherapy and everything but the turning point was when I got married and my husband was very pro plant based because uh, he had very high cholesterol and uh, he was pre diabetic and he didn't want to start any medication for diabetes and cholesterol. So he got the plant based lifestyle home, and that's how we changed as a family. So, yes, uh, it was like the nutritionist in me was very, very, you know, confused. Like, uh, I had two small kids that time, and should I be like, am I giving them enough protein, calcium? You know, all these questions that you are asking right now, all those went through my mind. And then finally, I was like, okay, let me just give this a shot. And it was most remarkable decision because I think in a week, I lost about four kgs. And uh, it, it, it was like, I, I even I couldn't believe it, like how the scale was dropping every day. It was the post-pregnancy weight, but yet I was dropping. And within a span of seven to eight months, I lost about 27 kgs. My I, was, I was huge. I was huge. From 87 kgs, I came down to 60 kgs. And okay. it was amazing the transformation was amazing and now if you look at me or if you hear me because I had to relearn everything like you know right from talking to tying my hair to walking to holding stuff in my hands I have only started running about four to five years back I did not even run before that Mm -hmm. so it's been a you know it's a relearning process which happened and now I'm completely off medications I'm not taking anything not a single tablet for uh, uh, my hypertension and anything. I was addicted to coffee because, you know, I was working in a research lab in the US and I had to keep steady to work under the microscope. Mm-hmm. And because of the left-sided weakness, I had, I needed coffee to be alert. And I was taking about, you know, these 10 to 12 cups coffee a day. And right. now I'm completely off it. So actually Sharon helped me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sharon helped me understand, you know, all these minute things like the importance of vitamin D and B12 because I started the plant-based journey in US. But mm-hmm. after after coming back to India and joining Sharon, you know, it's re- it's a learning process every day. You come you meet so many people. Now I do consultations and everything for Sharon. So I really urge people that, you know, do get on to this journey. Like we like attend one class for like Sharon's cooking class and you get to know how many different kinds of things you can do it's not that you know suddenly 
oh my god i'm enjoying so much and now suddenly you have to drop everything and shift to ghas food it is not like that there's a lot of things that you can do like we even have mock meat classes and everything so for a go on like me that was like you know like fish fries and everything can be done because as dr nandita said it's all in the spices and it's all in the flavors mm. so yes you can do it and you can lead a very you know like a normal healthy life you don't have to be dependent on medication or anything so just a few classes with us or you know consultations with us and it's you know a whole new way of life like my both my kids age 9 and 7 my 7 year old has not even tasted dairy so it's something that you and we have we have not been to a doctor we only go to the doctor because the school needs a certificate at the beginning of the year otherwise we barely see the doctor no antibiotic nothing so it's a pretty amazing life i must say and i think in this new uh, the new normal and this in this new age we don't want to visit any doctor or hospitals as far as possible <laughs> exactly exactly like in the lockdown like one sneeze and one cough and it was just like oh my god i've got the covid but luckily we neither had one sneeze neither had one you know not even gone through the normal flu season this time so it's touch wood it's been remarkable like i have not been to the doctor in the past like personally like uh, me myself i've not been to a doctor in the last 6 years except you know a little clumsy self if i've hurt myself and you know dislocated my arm and stuff i've been to the doctor but not for a fever or anything like that thank you so much for sharing that madhuri thank, thank you so much ushita thank you thanks madhuri